Kentucky Democrats want to legalize marijuana, and lawmakers in the House and Senate are filing mirror bills that would legalize the drug for medicinal and recreational use. As Fox 56 Capitol reporter Bodie Brooks reports, they believe they can get bipartisan support to pass the bill, but the governor may not be completely on board. If you break down the Let's Grow bill, it aims to legalize, expunge, treat, and tax sales of marijuana. The lawmakers say the state needs the added tax revenue it wouldn't get from medical marijuana, but medical is about as far as the governor is willing to go. It is past time in Kentucky for this discussion, and it's time now to pass the Let's Grow bill. Kentucky remains one of just 13 states without any medical or recreational marijuana law on the books, and Democrats are ready for that to change. Make no mistake, Kentuckians are growing cannabis. They are selling cannabis. They are consuming cannabis. We just aren't regulating it for their safety or benefiting for the tax revenue it should be generated. The Let's Grow bill would legalize sales, taxing up to 11% split up between state and local sales taxes and fees. Kentucky stands to gain up to $100 million a year if our sales mirror those of our neighbors in Michigan and Illinois. But not if we keep letting neighboring states beat us to the punch. Governor Andy Bashir not ready to put pen to paper on the full proposal. I'm for a uh, bill that ensures that medicinal marijuana um, uh, is medicinal, that there are the right controls put into place. A House Republican has also filed a bill to legalize medical marijuana, but the Democrats say their bill covers more conditions for a prescription and would bring an economic boom. With just medicinal, we know that you can't tax medicine. And the needs, economic needs that we have in Kentucky and watching all the other states around us reap those benefits, um, I think is ignorant. The bill would also decriminalize low-level marijuana offenses and expunge them from people's records within a year. It would also set up a cannabis control board that would regulate the industry, much like the Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control. Reporting at the state capitol, I'm Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.